Today, on our newest edition of Survivor Best Ofs, we look at one of Survivor's greatest winners, Parvati Shallow. The winner of Survivor Fans vs. Fans, When it came to playing the flirt card and being the charming assassin, perhaps no one perfected the strategy better than Parvati. Here's a look at some of Parvati's best moments across her four seasons, including one win on Survivor. You know what, Jack? I think it would be downright depressing to sit and watch green bananas turn yellow without my debaucherous little villains. Different ethnic groups. I mean, is that kosher? I don't know. But it's a cool social experiment, I think. There's so many men on this tribe now. It seems like we got all the like really big buff guys. I'm absolutely gonna flirt with them. Get them on my good side. It's what I do best. <laughs> I'm gonna lure him into my web and trap him there and suck his blood. JP is very demanding. And I think he does it in a very sly way where if you're not very observant, you wouldn't even realize that he's being controlling. But just the way he was sitting in camp today, like all sprawled out with his back against the like recliner on the throne and everyone's just like waiting on him. I'm like, no, that, that just doesn't fly with me at all. Fourth person voted out of the Cook Islands. Wow. JP. She told Nate that she's like, part of me could really use some mashed potatoes tonight. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah. And if someone says that, to me, that just means you're, you're, you're gone. I think Stephanie is mentally checked out. Really? I think the other girls have decided on Christina. Fifth person voted out of the Cook Islands. Stephanie. Property, would you give me a chance tonight? I don't know who I'm voting. I, even, I really haven't even thought about it. And I, I will definitely keep fighting and keep working hard. And if you guys give me a chance, I promise I will not fail you guys. Seventh person voted out of the Cook Islands, Christina. Oh, so what's going on? Jonathan's like, me and Candace are super tight. Like, he's just doing whatever is best for him and like working everybody at the same time. You know what I mean? The ninth person voted out and the first member of our jury, Brad. Has Jonathan tried to talk to you about like, Anything? No. He's a cool guy. Even though there are times where you wonder about certain individuals. Tenth person voted out the second member of our jury, Rebecca. You've just voted out one member of your tribe. You will now vote out another. The eleventh person voted out of the Cook Islands and the third member of our jury, Jenny. Paints, brushes, blank tribe flag, Whoa. and new buffs. You are merging into one tribe. Drop your buffs. <laughs> what if Ozzy wins immunity? Yule has to go before Becky and Sundra. He's really intelligent and he's a good competitor. Yeah. What do you think Nate thinks about it? Well, I, I know Nate will do whatever we wanted. Yule is the choice because He's brilliant. He's like Mr. Harvard, Yale, Stanford guy. And he's also really, really strong. So we just want to get him out as quickly as possible. I was just like, hmm, maybe there's a little, a little resentment, a little hostility brewing. <laughs> Potentially this game could get flipped on top of its head once more. I'm hoping and praying. It all hangs on other people right now. So the best I can do is try to be as persuasive as I can and try not to be pushy. Poverty, say hello to your dad, Mike. <laughs> oh, my God! Poverty wins reward! Fourteenth person voted out in the sixth member of our jury, Jonathan. I think at this point in the game, it is really frustrating for me because I'm on the outside and I don't know what to do. I think the only thing that I can do now is try pulling someone over to my side and making them play a strategic game and really 
I mean, I think Ozzy would be my only hope. I am hopeful because Yol says that he sees Adam as being the bigger threat right now, but I don't know how, I'm not gonna bank on it at all. So basically I'm gonna have to scramble something together and try to stay in this game tonight. 15th person voted out and the seventh member of our jury. Poverty. Poverty? The tribe has spoken. Coming back, I'm playing really aggressively and pretty much no holds barred for me. I have to win this time. It's my second time. I'm not coming back here to starve and be miserable. Like outwardly, yeah, I'm still gonna be flirty, but I'm playing smart this time. Like I wanna make the right alliances with people that I know I can trust. I don't know. I mean, it might be just too crazy, but I came up with this little plan to distract Jonathan, Eliza, Yao Man, and Amy into voting for Fair Play. And we're all voting for Eliza, just because I don't want Eliza turning around and trying to, you know, snake me. First person voted out of Survivor fans versus favorites, Johnny Fairplay. But, Parvati, this James thing just kind of developed. It just it came out of nowhere. I but the know. thing is, I believe in your promises, and I know if I go up against him in final three, I'll lose no matter what. Right. Anyway, that's what it is. What about Ozzy? We'll lose against Ozzy in a second. I know. Who are you so voting funny. for? I want to vote Yao. Because if Yao gets the exile island one time, oh, yeah. going up against Yao, you'll never win. Yeah. Third person voted out of fans versus favorites. Yao yeah, man. Jason, your choice. You're choosing a favorite. I'm going to take poverty. Harvardy. Harvardy. Oh, <laughs> Harvardy. I don't even know her name. I'll learn your name. I'm sorry. <laughs> Last night was a horrible night, and I think it just took its toll on Kathy. She just came up to us on the beach, bawling, crying, and told us that she can't take another day out here and she has to go. Like, she's done. She's quitting the game. At this point, six people are left on this tribe, so we need a very solid four to go into the merge. So me and James are really going to have to pull in two more people, you know, in order to remain in a strong position in this tribe. No. I'm not going to win against Ozzy, and I'm not going to win against James. There's no way. So I might just go ahead and pull in Alexis and Natalie and take them with me and Amanda to the floor. Everyone else, they're dead to me. <laughs> oh my god. I am in such a hot pickle right now. So I feel like I have the numbers on my side, no matter what. But I'm going to have a decision to make you know, down the road. <laughs> Eliza has been my biggest rival, I think, since the beginning of this game. She's been running around trying to get me voted out, personally, since day one. I mean, everyone on this tribe is voting for her tonight. Ninth person voted out and the first member of our jury, Eliza. I think if I went to the final five with Ozzy, Ozzy would win this game. And I haven't been here miserable, going through all this crap to not win this game. Tenth person voted out of Survivor fans versus favorites and the second member of our jury, Ozzy. But I made my bet, I have to lie in it. I knew as soon as I made this move, it, things were gonna get crazy. It's like the Black Widow Brigade. Like all the girls are coming together and we're spinning the guys around as much as we can, just spinning them and spinning them until they don't know which way's up. And then we're devouring them, one at a time. 11th person voted out of Survivor fans versus favorites and the third member of our jury, Jason. Poverty, here's your mom, Gail. Oh, no. Come on out, Gail. Oh, my God. James is like one of the toughest guys I've ever met in my life. and. I just have so much respect for James and who he is as a person. It just, it's just not fair, you know? It's just not right for him to go out like that. I think Alexis is our biggest threat as far as jury votes in the end, and I'm looking towards the end of this game right now. I see where Amanda's coming from, on the other hand, as far as Natalie being a bigger threat in challenges. So it's kind of a toss-up right now. And I... Twelfth person voted out a survivor and the fifth member of our jury, Alexis. Because the reason for me being here is just to prevent Natalie and Eric from getting a chance at getting the idol. So it doesn't really matter if I find the idol or not. I wonder if he would give Nat his necklace. Probably not, huh? Nat, tell him that if he were to give you the necklace, that would redeem him and we would vote for Amanda. Uh, 
I want to give individual immunity to Natalie. You're crazy. You officially go down as the dumbest survivor ever in the history of Survivor ever. 13th person voted out in the sixth member of our jury, Eric. Everyone has fallen into our trap. Everyone. And it's the same trap over and over and over again. And every single person keeps falling into it. I love Natalie to death, and I think she's a lesser threat as far as jury votes than three. But seriously, in this game and how this game's been played, all these women are so crafty, I wouldn't put it past any single one of us to work some kind of deal out and make it to the three. Fourteenth person voted out, the seventh member of our jury, Natalie. My fate is pretty much in Amanda's hands right now, but I'm fairly confident that she's going to take me to the final two with her. We've had an alliance since day one out here. And we also have a really tight relationship, Amanda and I, that's developed over the course of this game. So I'm not worried about it, really. 15th person voted out and the eighth and final member of our jury, Sari. I think my strongest point that I can make tonight is standing up and owning that I have been a powerful, controlling player throughout the duration of this game. The winner of Survivor Fans vs. Favorites. Yeah. I clearly know that Russell is running around talking to everyone and telling everyone the same thing. But we can either work with each other or against each other. And I do not want to work against him. Are you kidding? He's just an incredible force. With Russell, I definitely feel like I am making a deal with the devil. But I want the devil on my side. I went into that immunity challenge thinking, I have to win this one. And then Rob wins. I'm like, what? No! Rob having the immunity necklace puts him in a big position of power. Poverty. Are you serious? Mm -hmm. Sixth person voted out of Survivor, Heroes versus Villains. Tyson. But I think Jerry is leaning more towards coming with us because she saw what Russell did for me. And I think, I think Jerry's a little bit jealous that a man hasn't done that for her. So I think she wants to take a chance with Russell. Maybe he'll save her life and she can have a hero. Rob, the tribe's spoken. It's absurd. First, Russell wants to vote off Coach, and then all of a sudden, he wants to vote Courtney. Jeez, this tribe cannot get its act together. That's a problem. You know, we can't make a decision as a cohesive unit to save our lives. Coach, tribe is spoken. Wait, are you hearing that? Oh my god. <laughs> what? Oh my god, we just find out in like four seconds. Not all Russell running the show around here. He's not the king of Survivor. I'm the queen. <laughs> and usually the king does what the queen says anyway, so. Courtney and I have become really close, and uh, I don't know, I want to keep Courtney here because I feel like once there's a merge, she would stay more loyal to me than Russell. I want to keep myself kind of lower key on this one because if I try to save her too much, people are going to think, oh, she has something on the side with Courtney. Courtney? Travis spoke. Right now, Russell and I have both of the hidden immunity idols that are in this game, which puts us in the king and queen position. Well, the queen has to keep some secrets, so I like to keep my hidden immunity idol a secret. Heroes and villains, replace your old buffs with the new ones. Yay! You must come up with a new tribe name, design a new tribe flag, and begin the next phase. I'm offended by how these heroes are treating me. They don't know it yet, but they're about to be picked off one by one. Russell just gave me his immunity idol. So that makes me safe for tonight. And I have my own immunity idol. That also makes me safe for the rest of the game. You know what, Jeff? Sandra, that's for you. And Jeff. Jerry. That one's for you, too. Oh, damn it. 11th person voted out and the third member of our jury, JT. <laughs> damn it! Rupert drops out of the challenge. Poverty wins immunity. She will never see it coming. Candace, the tribe has spoken. I think Russell was jealous 
of my relationship with Danielle, and he wanted to make sure that it, it was him and I that were the closest to. Rupert's pole drops. Rupert's out of the challenge. Harvardy wins immunity and a spot in the final five. Six days in Samoa. Somebody going home tonight. I don't have to talk no more. I'm on board. Rupert, the tribe is frozen. Without warning, Colby's plates drop. Harvardy wins her second immunity challenge in a row. Winning? Today is a huge deal for me because I'm safe and I can keep the rest of my villains here. Colby, tribe has spoken. Tonight at Tribal, when Colby said that, it would have been easier to get rid of me. It was kind of an eye-opener for me. I didn't realize that I was such a huge threat, like with the jury. So now I feel like I really have to try extra hard to win this immunity to make sure that I'm sitting there in the final three. Sandra with us. You want her with us? Yep. No, I, I'd rather take Jerry. I mean, I'd rather put Jerry on the jury because I got her vote. What if she doesn't vote for you? What if she votes for Sandra? Jerry, drop support. I have played the game of Survivor for 114 days. I don't know if that makes me crazy. Probably. <laughs> but I think it also makes me one of the best players of Survivor ever. I haven't had an opportunity to be my diabolical self at all in the past couple of years. I've been busy building a family. But I'm like a phoenix rising from the ashes, ready to burn down your house. Rob and I have a history that is a checkered past, to say the least. <laughs> Rob went after me in Heroes Villains, and then I was partly responsible for him getting voted out pre-merge in that game. So I don't know how Rob is going to want to play with me. We're literally about to go to Tribal Council. They still haven't chosen between Denise or Adam. Is it me? Am I missing something? We are very obviously the two biggest threats in this game. What is going on? First person voted out a survivor, winners at war, Natalie. Danny and I, the first day that we hit the beach, we were talking, we were connecting, but now she's coming after me. So it's weird. Third person voted out a survivor, winners of war, Danny. Because Adam's trying to blindside me, it's gotta be Adam. So then we're all going for Adam? Yeah. I'm ready to pounce on Adam, devour that guy, and just spit out his bones on edge of extinction. We're switching from two tribes to three tribes. So I played with Yule before in Cook Islands, and Yule and I were never on the same side, but he told me that his wife loves me and that I'm her favorite player. And Nick told me that he had a crush on me when he was in high school. So that was awkward. It's so, I'm like cringing for her. I can't even imagine having dated someone, having it ended badly, and then being on the smallest, tiniest tribe with them. <laughs> like... I think our only option is Nick. Yeah. Right. Seventh person voted out a survivor. Winners at war. Poverty. Poverty. Trump has spoken. Thanks so much for watching Reality Pop, your new hub for all things reality. If you're enjoying this content, please let us know by giving this video a like, leaving a comment down below, and, of course, subscribing to the channel so you don't miss any videos. And be sure to hit that notification bell along the way. Thanks.